Okay, so we're out doing some shooting today and it's been a while since I posted on this channel but I figured I'd take you through my hunting rifle that I have which I used to shoot my deer with this year. Cool. And then I want to show you my brother-in-law's little rifle that he's got which I think personally is the, the perfect little setup for Adirondack deer hunting in my opinion but I'll show you both. So this is his, it's a Ruger American, it's chambered in 300 blackout, I mean you can get it chambered in a bunch of stuff, I know that, obviously probably this scope might be a bit much for Adirondack hunting, for close quarters stuff, but the actual rifle itself, it's a fairly inexpensive rifle, the Ruger American, and this one with the 16 and a half inch barrel is perfect i mean he's got a break on it right now but i don't think you necessarily need a break but the nice thing is it already comes threaded so you can cap it but that shorter barrel seems like so much better than the longer barrel that i have because when i went up earlier this year chris and i my buddy chris you probably saw that video we went out for three days and my barrel just get, get, kept getting caught on everything and it's obviously a longer barrel here's my rifle so this is my rifle this is my tika t3x and it's chambered in seven mil rem mag so it's overkill really for adirondack deer hunting but this is my rifle that i bought to pretty much hunt every game animal in north america which it's more than capable of doing not too expensive only i think maybe like 800 dollar rifle I have a Vortex Viper HSLR in 4 to 16 power. Uh, the, the scope's probably as much as the rifle, but I actually picked up this scope off Chris used, so I didn't pay that much. I paid about 500 bucks for it from him. It does have the sunshade that came with it, so I mean, it's a great rifle. I really like it. It packs a punch. I changed out the recoil pad this is a limb saver pad this is my first time shooting with it today and it's made a big difference and then i have this it's guy a company called bear tooth and this is a just a cheek rest foam cheek rest it's just a neoprene sleeve and you it comes with different sized foam pieces to slide underneath there and that's actually helping a lot so the reason we're out shooting today is because I actually remounted the scope. Uh, originally I had much higher, I had a Picatinny on here with much higher scope rings. So I changed those out. These are Leopold 30 mil tube rings. And obviously that's given me a much better gap here. Before the gap here was massive and I was just struggling so much to get a good cheek weld. Obviously saw a Max's rifle on his Ruger. He's got one of those. Is it Kydex? Yeah, it's Kydex. Kydex cheek weld things. And I think they're all right. I just don't want one for hunting. Does that make sense? Like I wouldn't mind it on a different rifle, but when I'm hunting, I just prefer not to have one. I don't know why. I just like the cleaner lines on a hunting rifle. It's just a personal thing. So I just want to show you quickly the difference in the calibers that we're shooting today and actually go through the, the ammo that I'm putting through in case anyone's interested in the Tika T3X. It's a good rifle, it really is. The build quality on it's nice for the price. I feel like it's a very nice rifle. I went and looked through a bunch of other ones recently. I looked at the Ruger American, which is a lower price point, and the build quality wasn't too great on that. And then I looked at the, Sa the Savage and again the, they were just like the action and stuff on them just you could tell they were at the lower price point one that i did look at was a browning um x bolt i believe and that was obviously higher priced than this and that one was cerakoted and that was that one was very nice i'll admit the browning was very nice but 
a little too big for my budget. So these, this is the ammo I'm shooting. I bought a couple boxes of these. If anyone's in New York State and wants to order ammo online, because I actually struggled to find a bunch of ammo around here, it is, I got it from rogerssportinggoods.com and they had a bunch of stuff and they shipped it straight to my door, which was helpful. So I bought a couple boxes of these because a guy on Rockslide on one of the forums, when I was on a forum about the Tika T3X light in 7mm rem mag said that these were the only factory loads he found for his anyway that shot like hand loads so they are a little bit more expensive but I figure that's worth it as soon as I get this thing really squared away and sighted in I'm hoping to stretch its legs out to about 400 yards at some point I mean, you can see the difference in the size and caliber that we're shooting today. Obviously, 7mm Rem Mag is on the left and 300 Blackout is on the right. Which, I don't know. You, What do you guys think? I think 300 Blackout would be alright for an Adirondack deer cartridge, maybe. I mean, it's obviously not got a lot of powder in there, but I mean, that the bullet itself is quite big. It's got quite a frontal, big frontal lobe on it as they say i think that's what they say frontal low so decent impact but it might be just missing a little bit of extra oomph but yeah i think my plan is at some point i've looked for one of those little ruger americans in the 16 and a half inch barrel um but obviously i don't want to buy i'm left-handed i don't want to buy any more right-handed guns i'm just at a stage where i don't want any more right-handed guns this is my first left-handed gun and it's absolutely changed the way I shoot so I'm sticking with left-handed and right now the only one I can find in left-handed is chambered in 450 Bushmaster and I just don't think that's really the appropriate cartridge for what I want it for which is like I say hunting in the in the deer woods I do still have my 3030 my lever action but I quite like having a scope on the rifle and I'm struggling obviously mine's a Mossberg M72 Western Field so it's not one of the Winchesters or the Marlins, so I'm struggling to find uh, a rail that'll actually fit on there so I can put a decent scope on it, but you know, that is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. What guys? What do you guys carry for your deer woods hunting trips and uh, any Adirondack hunters? What do you think about the, the rifle setups that we've got? 